How to Draw a Rose, Video 1 at Green Robin Studio. We are using Bristol board in various shades of pencils. Having lots of different pencils makes it easier for you to create the lights and darks on your rose. We are lucky to have north facing windows for the lighting on this video. I tell my students, draw it light until it's right. We start out by finding the shape of the rose as it fits on the paper. From there, you can vary the lights and darks on your drawing. You do this by using the different values of pencils. With a very light pencil, um, they call these pencils the hard pencils, um, and the, the darker pencils are called soft pencils. Um, the hard pencils are uh, like 2H, 6H, 4H. The, Medium pencils are 2B or 2HB. The right uh, when I bring up the yellow pencil with the eraser, uh, pink eraser attached to the end, that's a 2B pencil by Ticonderoga. The um, darker pencils are for putting in the 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 most visible lines because of their darkness. So most of the drawing will be in the medium range, which um, is this Ticonderoga HB pencil. So the drawing is starting out very light so that I can find the placement of the rose on the Bristol board. Uh, the reason I do this and the reason most artists do this is so that they can know where everything is in relationship to everything else and in doing this that they don't leave the page with their drawing. Um, this is a problem that I had in the beginning and it's common and a lot of people go through this until they find techniques that work for them to help them stay on the on this on the page without leaving the page, uh, one of my teachers, uh, well, a couple of my teachers actually said, this this part's called the gestalt, the overall look of the painting or the picture needs to be put on first. And part of the gestalt is the composition. You always want to have a good composition. It's not usually taught in public school systems or in um, easier art classes how important composition is but to be a really respected artist you must have an understanding for how things place themselves on the page uh, it's what sh one of the things that shows the difference between a competent artist and a great artist I'm using my finger a lot um, on the medium pencils and on the darker pencils because the blending uh, of lines is, is very uh, beautiful and attractive. And so I like to put that blending look in for that attractiveness. I also use a rolled a piece of paper that is in the shape of a pencil. This is called a stump. Uh, it gives a little bit different of a blending effect than your fingers do. There's a stump. Um, I use the eraser to make marks also. I don't use the eraser primarily for Erasing, I use it primarily for additional mark making. Uh, it, uh, it can soften edges. It can put something light where light wasn't seen before. It um, can blend darker areas. It's a good tool. Also, have fun with using thick and thin lines. This will give energy to your rows. Enjoy. See you next time.